What's happening? It's Shane again. So I'm doing the online bank account tier list. I'm gonna test out a different style of doing the tier list. I'm just gonna do this one super, super fast. I'm really not gonna explain my choices very much at all. I'm trying to get through this video super fast and see if you guys prefer that kind of uh, content. You know, when it comes to a tier list, it's really just my opinion in the first place. So I don't think most people care that much about the stats. But rest assured, I did do a lot of research in order to come up with these rankings. As always, don't forget to smash the living daylights out of the YouTube algorithm. Appreciate that. And let's jump right in. All right, so we're starting off with the A's. Ally Bank is a very solid choice overall. This bank, it just, you know, every single area you look, it just, it checks the box. It checks the box everywhere. It's cheap, uh, easy to use, great app, uh, really good interest rates. It's just really solid. Overall, this one is gonna go into S tier. Next one on the list is going to be Alliant Credit Union. Very similar to an online bank account, except it's a credit union. You can look up the differences between those two, but basically they're very similar. A credit union is like a bank, but if you are part of one, you actually own part of it, and it's technically a nonprofit. Credit unions generally give lower fees, uh, better customer service, better interest rates when you compare them to brick and mortar banks. And then this one, of course, is an online credit union, and it also has over 80,000 ATMs available. This is a super good one. It's going in S tier. Charles Schwab's gonna be next on the list, and this one's especially good if you're someone who likes to do a lot of international traveling. And the reason for that is because they basically waive all ATM fees. You'll know what I'm talking about, even if you've ever just gone to Vegas, how they have crazy ATM fees there, or if you've gone out of the country to certain places that are kind of tourist traps, a lot of the time, they're gonna charge really ridiculous ATM fees. I have several friends who uh, traveled the world all the time before the current situation that has stopped everyone from traveling happened and they recommend Charles Schwab. This one goes in S tier. Geez, I'm doing all the S tiers first. I swear I didn't set it up like this. Next one on the list is going to be Capital One 360. So this one, there's about 38,000 ATMs available, so that's really good. There are some physical locations with this one, depending on where you live, but it's so few that it doesn't really affect the overall cost that much. And just to explain what I mean by that, online banks don't have physical locations, so their overhead cost is much lower, and they're able to pass a lot of that savings onto the customers. So this one's a really good option overall. Um, all the statistics are really good. If you look it up online, it's got great reviews. This one goes in A tier. Next one on the list is technically a savings account. They don't actually have a checking account, but it's CIT Bank. So for a while there, they were the one that had the best savings account that I could find. I'm not sure where it's at right now. The interest rates on saving accounts are just super wacky right now. There's one that dropped from like 2.2% to 0.2%. 0.3% for instance. I'm sure they're gonna rebound after all of this is over, so I'm not even gonna mention the interest rates, but CIT Bank for a long time was above 2%. They had probably the best savings account out there. Overall, this one's a really good option, especially if you're just looking for an online savings account or maybe you're trying to make an emergency fund. This one goes in A tier. Next one on the list is going to be the Fidelity Cash Management account. So technically, this is not a bank account. However, it functions exactly the same as a bank account count would and I made sure that all of the ones that I put on this list are FDIC insured to at least $250,000. And that means if the company goes under or you know something happens, the bank burns down, your money burns, you're gonna get your money back up to $250,000 at least. And this Fidelity account is no exception to this. They are FDIC insured as well. So the catch with this one is you do have to open up an investment account with them. And then basically the money that you put in the investment account, a part of that you can use basically just the same way that you would use a checking account. So you can't take out all of it, but you can take out a good portion of it and you probably wouldn't need to take out all of it unless you're trying to make like a down payment on your house. Overall, Fidelity is a great company. I really like Fidelity. I also like Ally and I also like Charles Schwab. Those three companies are fantastic. Seems like all the products that they make are really good. And so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put Fidelity in A tier. Next one on the list is going to be Wealthfront. And this is one that I used as a high interest savings account for a while. It's kind of similar to Fidelity. It's a cash money management account technically, but they were offering 2.57% interest rate on their savings account and it's FDIC shared up to a million dollars. When this whole, you know, pandemic thing happened in the world, they dropped it from two point something percent all the way down to I think 0.3%. So I'm not very happy about that right now. Hopefully they uh, raise it back up in the future, 
but because of the fact that they did that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in C tier. Next one on the list is going to be Navy Federal Credit Union, and this is a really good one if you are in the service, if you're in the military, or if you are affiliated with someone who's in the military, you can apply for this one. This is basically an online uh, credit union for service members. They've got great reviews online. Everything I've read about them has been really fantastic. So for that reason, I'll go ahead and put them in A tier. Next one on the list is going to be VO Bank, and I've heard pretty good things about them. It's just the thing is, is that the other ones on the list are just a little bit better in my opinion. So for that reason, I'm gonna put this one in B tier. Next one on the list is going to be Chime. I see the advertisements for this one all the time. Uh, yeah, so Chime, there's, there's a lot of advertisements for it. Um, kind of surprises me how many that you see. There's a few reviews online that I've seen, and overall, I'm just not very impressed with it. The reviews are not that great. Um, so for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in D tier. Next one on the list is going to be SoFi. This is a company that uh, does a lot of student loan stuff. They do some investing stuff as well. This is another one that's a cash management account technically. And right now it only offers about 0.2%. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and put SoFi in C tier. Now the next one on the list, I actually didn't include it in this list, but I just wanna mention it, is any of the physical banks that offer an online banking option. So when a physical bank offers an online banking option, they still have to pay for all of those overhead costs that they have. It's not like it's a separate entity or something. So they're generally not gonna be as good as the pure online options. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't have a physical bank, I talked about this in other videos, how it actually is advantageous for you to have one sometimes. But I also think that you should have an online only bank as well. You should have at least one of each in my opinion. So a physical bank that has an online option, uh, that's gonna go in F tier. I guess I'll like Photoshop it on there because I didn't screen cap it. Anyways, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, comment down below. Any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.